it is curious that he's changed up his strategy, changed his style a little bit as Kabi gets poked very low here in the bottom lane. And Memento, he has been much more of a carry player, but clearly that's not what the team wanted this time. Right, now Splice, they definitely look a lot more at home in the late game for the most part as Niski finds a root off onto Blank. A little quick pop onto the barrier, and a memento is found up by Xerse, flashing that pillar. Lane dominance, finding picks, and now look, Blanc coming in for a flank. Okay, let's see if he can make this one happen. Goes over, gets the two-man shuffle up, and I don't care if you swallow the ash, you're going down, my friend. That is going to be one oh. kill, first blood, swag and style. Kavi is going nowhere, and Blank picks up one with HeQ on the other. It's inner tower time. Latest first blood of the split secured by Rocket as they find two kills on Despise. It is going to be the time to fight. Ghostblade, Dustblade of Drakthar also on, and it looks like this tower. Only needs a few more chip shots. Nick goes down to Rocket feel like they want to take this fight to get some damage. And Kasing pops out Awamna into his mouth. Teleport coming through. Xerse a little bit late to the party. Missed the memo. It was the Horn. Horn. Horn's happening. Xerse goes golden, but I think they're going to leave him out to dry here. And PQ's taking him down. Rocket knocking on the doors. After a 0-2 week last week, a win hit would be monumental. And now they're looking for a collapse onto Memento. Uh, Memento, he does dash forward. Looks for the Kasing. Oh, Memento's getting low right now. And HQ realizes he can't put out enough damage in time. The Ashar comes through. HQ flashes away. So Splice pick up one kill, the rest of Rocket are out. You see as well, very little armor built elsewhere means the EQ will continue to do a lot of damage as it all comes down. Okay, and they're going to knock him up. Sing is going to go ahead and pop that stopwatch. But now the fight's in here. Oduwamne is fine, the flank, and Blank is trying to come in. I don't think Rocket are quite on the same page, but Memento takes down Oduwamne before it even starts. Memento is also going to fall. Kabe getting the kill. And Splice bleeding and bruised, but they still want to take this fight right now. Stun off onto Blank, nor Scarin moving through, and the shuffle goes back. Hop back into the belly of Kasing, and they're still going. And this is an all-out brawl as Cersei is going to find Blank and Kabi firing arrows as many ways as he can. Prophet not able to find the kill, and Splice are going to make out like bandits. Prophet falling double kill to Cersei. Splice with the victory on that fight. Huge turnaround team fight for Splice as they find a successful 5v5 against Rocket. Available so that the two top lanes can match. Here we go. Here we go, Niski. Lands good Aaron. damage. That's a lot of damage. He's not as much of the chunk as he was hoping to get, but still, that is not jump change either. Here comes Odo with the massive Gnar! Right into the edge of terrain, and Hiku comes up, bringing up the rear a little bit too late, and it looks like Splice is going to be able to start this fight off right. Xerse takes down Memento, it's a 5v4, and Rocket are bleeding out here. Blank unable to get back into the fight, and all they can do is try and push back the remaining members of Splice. They win that one huge. They didn't even need any further kills because Rocket can't contest Baron. Baron number two, 35 minutes into this game. Prophet sniffing forward, just wanting to see if this is happening. It looks like he might even give his life over at this point. Rocket realized they have to take a not so smart fight. Niski looking to sniff around the side. And once again, the execution errors plaguing Rocket. For sure, if the rest of this game hasn't already gone that way, and Splice going straight on forward, Norse Garrett does delete Niski off the map, and maybe this is the chance for Rocket to finally find that fight, unless they can beat feet out of here. Norse Garrett, Memento stepping forward, Kabi low, but he's surrounded by teammates, and there's not a whole lot of AoE coming through. What is it? Here we go, Engage coming in the mid lane. Hornhorn coming through, Kasing already swallowed up Kabi, and now Memento does finally land that prison on, but I don't know if that is going to be the target he wanted right now. Memento already starting to get shred through, even Niski bringing up the rear, and Rocket, they were going 5v4, and they were still losing this fight. Splice are the stronger team, and they flex their muscles once again. Oh Rocket. my goodness. Their dream of a comeback is right here, right now. They need this one. Here we go. Niski trying to come in here, and it looks like this is not quite enough damage to take this down. It's going to be coming down to a smite fight, and it's secured by Memento. But can they win the fight? Oduwamne gets a Gnar over the wall, Ooh. and it goes Niski to shut down Hiku and North Garrett. That fight is lost. That game is lost. Splice when it counts. Splice obliterate Rocket 5 for 0. They have the Baron buff. They have the Nexus set in their eyes, and Splice are on their way to playoffs. One fell swoop. Looked like you got yourself the dragon, but you lose yourself the game. Splice pull a most critical win in the race for playoffs. Things look dicey in the early game, Pirate. They, oh, they did. They did. They didn't find those early kills. The one through one wasn't looking good. They were getting engaged on. Then a couple bad decisions from Rocket. I mean, that Splice found some excellent team fights.